Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell at PPK Computer Training and in this video we're going to compare two lists. I've got a list of customers in January, a list of customers in February and I want to find out which customers in February are new customers and which are old customers. And we're going to use two methods for this. One is conditional formatting and the other is using formula. So we'll start with conditional formatting. This is nice and easy. What I would do is I'd select this list Hold down control, select this list. I'm on the home tab on my ribbon. Go to conditional formatting, highlight sales rules, duplicate values, change this to unique rather than duplicate. Change the color if you like, but we'll keep it red. But these are essentially the new customers in February. So the ones that are not in this list. Okay. Now, I'll get rid of that conditional format. I'm just going to undo Control Z. So that's one way of doing it. Now, that wouldn't work if you wanted to highlight the old customers. Uh, let me just show you what would happen if we did that. So if I went to Highlight Sales Rules, Duplicate Values, Duplicate, it does work, but it also highlights the ones over here, which may be what you want. That may be absolutely fine. But if you just wanted to highlight the old customers in this list and not all the customers in this list, then I will show you another way of doing this, and that's going to revolve a little formula that we're going to use within conditional formatting. But what we'll do first of all is just explore that formula, because sometimes you want to compare two lists with using another column that basically tells you whether it's the same or different. Uh, uh, well, it basically explains the differences or the similarities between two lists. So we're going to use over here a function called VLOOKUP, and what we're going to do here is say, I want to look up this customer in this list over here. And I'm going to fix that reference because we're copying down. We used F4 to fix the reference. And I'm looking it up within the first column. There's only one column within our table. And I'm doing an exact match, which I'm going to use 0 for. I close the bracket, press Enter, and I copy this down. So what you can see is it brings up the name of the customer if it exists in the January list. And if you can't find it in the January list, it returns NA. So what we can do here is use the isNA function. Now the isNA function will return true if your value, your formula, returns NA. So for the first one, that's false. But if I double click to fill down, it will return true if it comes across an NA. So you'll see that that corresponds to the new customers, put down your pet veterinary services, um, intermittent tool suppliers, Duckett, Gardening and Sons, etc. So this is still not very friendly, but what I can do is use this within the if function. And I could say for our logical test, the value of true would be yes. Going off the screen a little bit here, let me move over and the value of false would be no. So this is our logical test. It gives us our true and false result. Our value of true is yes. So instead of showing true, we're going to show yes. And our value of false is no. Instead of showing false, we're going to show no. So that would give us the yeses and the noes. Now, you can also use this formula your conditional formatting. So I've just copied that part of the formula. If I select these cells and new rule, paste this in as our formula, put equal sign in front of it, and I'll just choose very simple formatting, red background, and that highlights the, the new customers. So it did a similar job to what we used here, where we said duplicate value is unique. Okay, but it's just another method of doing that. But say if I wanted to highlight the old customers and not the new customers, we just undo that. Now what we'd have to do is change our formula a little bit here. So I'm just going to delete that formula. Now the VLOOKUP would be the same. So I am looking up this value here, comma, in way off the screen there, these, these cells here, returning values for col column one, 
within the lookup table and I'm doing an exact match with a zero. Now what I could do is I could say is this text because it returns a text value if the VLOOKUP finds a, a match. So if I copy this down, what it does is show false where it's a new customer, true if it's an old customer. So I'm going to take this formula, copy it, select these cells, conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format, paste my formula in, format values where this formula is true. So if it returns a text value, give it a color, let me say a red, and there we are. So you formatted the old customers, and that is impossible via conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, duplicate values, unless you also want to format these values, which you may not want to do. It may not look so good on your spreadsheet. Okay, that's all there is to it. Thanks very much for listening. It's been Chester Tubble at Blue Pecan Computer Training. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more tips and tricks from us.